When is the worst time to invest in real estate? You're definitely gonna wanna watch this one. Like I said in the opening, when's the worst time to invest in real estate? And I want you to really think about this because if you look at the long-term horizon, and Lance Lambert from Fortune uh, Magazine did a great job with this. We're gonna put the chart up a couple times in the video here. The answer is never, and let me tell you why. If you look at the seven to 10 year horizon, and we know that most people live in their homes 11 plus years right now, that's the average in the US, it's almost impossible to lose equity. Look at the stats, look at the chart here, it's only gone up. And what we see happening right now is a lot of people are buying into the clickbait headlines, the news stories that have this insane sort of header at the top and the meat of the article and the actual facts are the complete opposite. It's like people are writing these articles and the first line should be, ha ha, just kidding, here's what's actually going on. And that's one of the biggest mistakes we see people make. And they buy into these headlines and then all of a sudden, buyers are afraid to make offers even when the home's been on the market. They're shy about putting in a number that maybe isn't the asking price, even though we know that the market is still very low in terms of available inventory. And I'll explain to you what that looks like right now through the month of April in our local market here in the greater Philadelphia area shortly. People are afraid to write offers. They're afraid to take action. And they're buying into this belief that the market is constantly frenzied right now. And even in markets like this, there's still opportunities to be had. So. Snap number one, don't be afraid to write up the offer. Have your agent get as much intel as they can. How many showings? Are there any competing offers? What's the seller looking for? We've covered all this before. And if you see homes start to sit on the market a week, two weeks, three weeks, then there's an opportunity there. A lot of folks get discouraged and they totally pull out of the market entirely and they miss watching it. Remember, this is a big financial decision. It's going to take some time. We're not in the unicorn 2020 to 2022 market. The second big mistake I see folks make is that they're focused on where mortgage rates were versus where they are now. We know that rates have come up versus is the monthly payment going to fit into my budget? We have no control over the rates. The rates are the rates. They're set by the market trends. They're influenced by the Federal Reserve's federal funds, rate hikes, and policy they put out, and they're influenced by market conditions. So we can't control any of that. If we could, they'd be a lot lower, right? So instead of worrying about where rates are going, the best thing people can do if they wanna invest in real estate or they wanna buy a home is find an agent who can clearly break down what their monthly payment will be, and then you as a buyer, you as a consumer can sit down and calculate and see if that's gonna fit your budget or not. And sure, there's gonna be some fluctuation on the day-to-day -day when it comes to mortgage rates. What I know is the payment is how people buy homes, not the rate. I've never seen someone buy a home because of a rate. I've seen them buy it because it was the right fit for their household or their family. And that's the reason you wanna move ahead with a purchase in the first place. And the third biggest mistake I see people make has to do about lack of education around the market. They're finding agents who all these people wanna do is show them homes. They don't wanna tell them, here's what's going on with inventory. Here's how the market's trending. Here's what might've changed with the purchase process since you last bought a property, knowing that it could've been well over a decade ago. Imagine what you were doing 10 years ago. Your life was probably a lot different. So was the real estate market. So these mistakes keep getting made because people are afraid to invest in real estate. And the reality is the folks that bought in 2020 are super excited because their equity's gone up. The folks that bought in 2021 are feeling the same way. And the folks that bought in 2022 are seeing the same thing as we've seen prices continue to increase in our local marketplace. Just look at the chart from Lance Lambert. So lastly, the biggest concern people have is inventory. There's not enough choices out there. You know, I do want to buy. I believe what you're saying, Tom. It all makes sense. Your facts and data are backed up by third-party validation, which they are and they're just worried about inventory. So here's what's going on locally, and this is something real estate agents have a tendency to totally overlook. The month's supply and inventory of 2022 compared to 2023 in January, February, March, and April, I'm gonna break it down for you. This is how long it would take for the existing inventory of homes to be sold at the current sales pace. In January of 2022, we saw a 1.6 month supply 
versus a three-month supply in January 2023. February 22 to February 23, 2.1-month supply to a 4.2-month supply. Double, literally. 2.6-month supply in March of 2022 compared to a four-month supply of inventory in March 2023. And in April, we were at a 2.1-month supply compared to a 3.2-month supply this year. And what we know is there's just more homes available. Now, there's less homes selling this year. So inventory is growing, more new homes are coming to the market, and there's more choices out there, which is why I mentioned earlier looking at the homes that are sitting on the market. Typically, there's not anything wrong with them. They're just not priced correctly. All the more reason to write an offer, engage the seller. Historically, we've always seen that buyers are shy about writing offers, and the ones that do can sometimes get a better price than if the seller priced the home where it should have been in the first place. So knowing all of this, to answer my question and looking at this chart here, there has never been a bad time to invest in real estate as long as you have that long-term horizon. Don't believe the hype about inventory. Look at the data, look at the stats, and if you got questions, find a local agent who can educate you about what's going on in the segment of the market in which you're interested, because that's the information that every consumer needs to make a well-informed real estate decision.